What's up, Internet? Deepcool was kind enough to send over the DQ750M V2L White PSU. And you know, we've sold a lot of Deepcool products over the years from their AIOs, their cases, to their case fans, to their RGB converters. But we've never sold and tried their PSU. So actually, I'm excited to try this one out. First off, Deepcool is aiming high with these enthusiast level specs. This is a 750 watt, 80 plus gold PSU that is fully modular. So with those specs, you're sort of hitting into the territory of more well-known PSU brands like Corsair and Seasonic. And specs wise, this is impressive. In particular, the 80 plus gold rating because 80 plus is an independent accreditation. Companies have to get their PSUs accredited so they need to pass certain tests or pass certain qualifications before something is labeled as an 80 plus and at what color. So for me, 80 plus is much more reliable than the usually used standard here sa atin na true rated. At least with 80 plus, you know that each PSU had to meet minimum standards for it to be graded like that. And so the DQ's rating of 80 plus gold fits it squarely into the premium offerings of other PSU manufacturers. The DQ is also made up of 100% Japanese capacitors, which is another feature which a lot of people look at for their power supplies. Again, it's a stand-in for reliability and performance. Finally, the unit comes with a 10-year warranty, which again puts it at par with the premium selections of other brands. So with the DQ, Deepcool is really pushing to be taken seriously as a PSU manufacturer. But aside from the specs on paper, how does it perform like in real life? We've had the DQ installed in our test bench for around three weeks and we haven't had any problems with it. More importantly, we really tried to stress out the PSU. So in our test bench, we have a 2080 Super and we ran it at load for several hours over multiple days and the DQ was fine. All of the power requirements that we needed, it adequately supplied. If a system has inadequate power supply, you're gonna start seeing weird things like random shutdown or more accurately shutdowns when you're putting load on the GPU. But it was all smooth sailing with the DQ even on load for long periods of time. And while it's hard to extrapolate general performance just based on one test unit that we have, in other words, it's not a very good sample size, the personal experience we've had with the DQ makes me want to try more Deepcool PSUs, especially because the specs are very competitive at a very competitive price. So this unit retails for around 5,700 pesos. A comparable unit of Seasonic would run you around 6,500 or so. And a comparable Corsair unit would probably have you in the 7,000 peso plus range. So the DQ checks all of the right boxes that most people look for in a PSU. Number one, 750 watts, which is the sweet spot now for most enthusiast builds. Number two, 80 plus gold. And lastly, 100% Japanese capacitors. All of these things combined in a package that is cheaper than most of its contemporaries really makes me want to look at more Deepcool PSUs and to consider having them in the shop and putting them in future builds. Time will tell how reliable these are, but so far so good with us. And we do intend to stress test more the DQ over the months to come because sign naman yung 2080 Super, kung parang test bench lang talaga siya, we should be able to run some gaming on it. Thanks for watching. And all the thanks in the world to our top fans, Christian Espinosa, John Ruben Ocha, ITX Addict, Richard Onkinko, Ian Meru, and Liam Magnaye. Your support really goes a long way to helping upgrade the production quality of the channel, and we really, really appreciate it. Thanks so much.